Hello everybody. I uh, dropped by accident over a forum entry in one of the Luxology forums where someone posted a picture of some kind of bottle like the one you see here. I thought this is quite an interesting um, thing to model, especially because there are some nice challenges. One is having a sharp edge in here to separate the lid from the bottle top. Then of course this dent in here which helps to open the lid when it's closed. And there is another one like here where we have to have a quite a sharp edge but no distortions around here. Uh, you won't learn many new techniques if you follow this tutorial. Uh, most of the things I'm using I have covered in one or the other other tutorial already. So if you want to have a little challenge, stop watching the video here and try to model this with the knowledge you have already. Otherwise, welcome to a new tutorial. So I close this one and go to the model tab. I close this one, control N for a new scene and the first thing I do is I go to top view, A key and select a circle with um, 20 millimeters in every side and 128 edges. I want to use this one as a background constraint and a reference. A key perspective, we did something wrong. E key top view, that's better. Perspective and poly mode. Delete. Good. Now I rename this to background and um, go to top view again, bring out my grid and make a square not quite the size of my background, like something like this. Yes, I must put this in a new mesh, so Control X, N, Control V, and press the D key three times to subdivide it. And now I have 32 edges here. Then I can go to my basic tab uh, around the Y, 32 edges, but zero on the Y and apply. Drop the tool, then I can bevel this and delete. Edge mode, select also these edges, Alt Q. We can delete this and when you look at this then you see it's pretty similar to my uh, tutorial making um, perfect surfaces with any even number of edges or something like this. Anyway, First or next, we need to uh, see how big and where this dent is. So I rename this to bottle and then I make a new mesh. Go to the front view and Uh, no, go back to the bottle again, top view, and you see we have 20, uh, we have 10 polys here, so we need a circle with 20 edges because 10 of the edges will be around here and 10 of the edges will be in the front. So let's do that. I go to this one, rename this to temp and go to the front view and bring out the circle 
with 20 edges and I make it 12 by 12 and 0 here, drop the tool. Then I can select this polygon B for bevel, bevel it in a bit, this will be the seam. Delete, then perspective view, W key, bring this in front. <coughs> and I now separate the lower half from the top half because control X, control V, you will see why. And this thing is not round, it's more oval, so R key and bring this down to 75%, something we can remember. <coughs> like so. Drop the tool. Perspective. And now I can take this one, F11, activate background constraint, double-sided vector, select the bottom half, W key, and bring this into here. Good. We don't need the background. And I can go to the side view select the top ones, W key, and bring this over to about here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So bad. <coughs> then the E key, but I rotate it around here. Control rotate it 90 degrees, make sure we are all on the same level, so select everything, vertex, set position, zero on the Y, good. And now we can delete this half and go again to perspective view no need for the grid anymore and then I can merge this vertex here to this one and this here to this one like so good then uh, we can look at the bottle and here we have exactly the same we only need to work with one half. Let's delete this. Okay. Next, we know now how much space and where this uh, dent will come in. And we can now construct the lid. So I separate this uh, no, not I straighten these edges like so. And I would like to make the lid going to about this edge here. So we could do this in different ways, for example, like the one I showed in um, seams in a sub D model. But here I would like to use another one which I don't think I have ever used in one of my tutorials, the pen slice tool, which is quite some handy thing too. I uh, start here, be sure we are in open mode, not in closed. And then when I don't know uh, where to go, I put always a vertex in the middle also and then something like this. Now first we need to merge these vertices. I could have put snapping on, but forgot. Then merge these, these, here, no, yes, 
and these. Now we have this line here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now we can use the T key and make this look a bit nicer. Something like this. Yeah. Next, um, I want to bevel this with a round level of zero, just a bit, like so. And then we have to fix some of these areas. This one comes to here. This is good. These two are n-gons, so select these two, edge join averaged, this one is good, this one comes to here, and now I can put in two edges in here, which are my seal, uh, seam. I could all see this with a count of two and uh, symmetry doesn't really matter but I will show you why I don't do this uh, control Z symmetry because for example if the seam or we have just made would not be a hundred percent let me demonstrate it like I make this really big if I put all C now um, an edge in here or two edges you see it's not what we want so control Z this and if I put in a single edge fifty percent with a round level of zero and bevel it with a round level of zero then you see I make this point zero five it doesn't matter how the rest looks, it will be all in the same distance. That's uh, really the difference between beveling an edge and loop slicing edges in. So let's put this back here. About so. Good. Now I can take this here. L for loop, control X, control V. Now I can select this, control copy, new mesh, control V, and this is going to be my lid. Good. Put it above the background. <coughs> Go back to the bottle. And before I continue, I want to select a uh, first vertex merge these vertices back together now I select this here control copy new mesh control V and call this background too we might need it I'm not I'm not sure but just in case so Let's continue with our bottle. We have uh, the lid now, which we don't need to see. We don't need to see this background. And next is we want to bring in the dent. So I go to this temp, control X, go to the bottle, control V, 
and I can now delete all these here delete this one as well mm, this one as well <coughs> now I can bridge this one uh, take this vertex and move it up to here or weld it up to here this one comes to here and let's see how many edges we have in here we have nine so either we must get rid of one or put one in I think we put one in so C key then I go here in the middle shift click and then I can bring one out here now we have 10 edges P key select this polygon go to polygon quadruple no that's not nice I don't like it C key put this one in here shift click put this one to here and now uh, shift click and to here that's better good perspective let's see what we do next uh, next I think we will fill this hole here so top view I need the grid so I can find out where my center is my center is here so I go to basic uh, sphere with 20 sides and 10 segments because our circle also had 20 sides so from here and I am in a face mode not sub D mode so we can see better control left click bring this out to about here drop the tool now remember we have uh, uh, limited our or shortened our circle to 75 percent we must do the same here so R key and we must do it in the set and the Y 75 75 yeah not so bad let's see how this looks from here looks good I can L this one delete the top delete this here be sure we don't take too much no that's good then I flip this and can now delete this and delete this 